there guys, this is Amy Tech right here. And if you know, just a few days back I uploaded my video on my Apple TV box to review. And I actually just got the new Apple TV third generation a couple of days ago. And today I got some free time so I thought that I would review this for you. Now personally looking at the interface, it's basically not the unit review, it's the interface review. How is the interface and what functions is it having? So this is obviously the first startup that I have did. I've all I've already set up my iTunes account, so we won't go in you know very detail through that. But um, I have completely set up now, and so you see you know when you turn it on on first boot up you see these four main icons: movies, music, computers, and settings. And if you go down, you see these different icons like MLB TV. You see um, uh, NHL, trailers, YouTube, and much more. Now the great benefit is that you can not just buy content from iTunes directly via your television, but you can also airplay content from your iOS devices to your Apple TV. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So first let's start with these four main icons. So you have first of these movies. Now when you click these movies icon, uh, it'll actually access uh, the iTunes store, and actually it did. As you can see here, all the movies are being shown up here. Now you can click on these movies and you can buy them, you can rent them, you can watch them uh, on the go. And the quality is pretty good because obviously it's HD. I've currently connected it via HDMI to my Sony uh, Full HD LED TV. And it's working seamlessly. And as you can see here, quite a lot of movies. For instance, if I want to watch this White House Down, I just click here. It's basically iTunes experience, complete iTunes experience on your HD TV. And it's pretty good. You can rent it for one fifty. You can buy it for six ninety. Obviously, I'm in India, so these are the Indian prices. You can just click more and view more information about um, the movie and its uh, actors and all the other characters present here. Now, here, as you can see here, I also have this Apple TV remote here, uh, which is pretty convenient. It's pretty easy to use. Pretty simple. It has just a uh, few buttons on it. So, as you can see here, it has this scrolling button, menu button. For menu and uh, going back and obviously play and pause button. So I just press menu button to go back. And there we go. I went back. Click it again and I went back again. So this is you know pretty simple to use. I will just press uh, menu again and go back on the main menu. So this is movies. So you can download movies on your directly on your Apple TV and play it. You can view the trailers, view different movies, complete iTunes experience on your TV. Let's go to music again. It's uh, exactly the same. You can buy music if you want. It's accessing iTunes Store, as you can see. You can access the music that you have already purchased on iTunes. And that works pretty well as well. And okay. It's taking some time to access the store. And there we go. We now, you know, uh, this is my iTunes music from my computer. You obviously need to turn home sharing on to make this happen. And obviously I can see songs that I've purchased from iTunes. Now, for instance, I've purchased all these songs on iTunes and it's directly receiving all this information from the servers. If I want to play any song, I just uh, click it and it'll be played. For instance, if I, I just click this Beatles song and it should be played. As you can see here, it's being played. So let's pause it, and go back, and as you can see here, it's as simple as that. It's going to access your iTunes music and purchase music if you want. Simple. Good computers. Uh, okay, turn on home sharing on iTunes. It's going to turn on home sharing and access basically your iTunes data that's there on your computer. I mean, complete library that's there on your computer. Not just your iTunes purchase music, but if you turn home sharing on, you can actually view your complete library that's there. Now, obviously, if you look at the settings, you have these all uh, basic settings. I won't go in detail for all of them. You have these general settings. You have all of these options in general settings. Go back. Screensaver. We can even set up screensaver. Currently, it's the National Geographic photos. We can even select ours like animals, flowers, etc. You can even select trailers if you want. As you can see here, a nice preview comes in the form of, uh, what do you say, a collage on the side. And if you just go back, you can do a lot more here. 
iTunes Store can obviously access it if you want. You can manage your iTunes accounts and you can even, you know, select the video resolution. That's pretty good. Audio and video again. Some advanced and some basic audio and video settings. One goes through detail to AirPlay settings. You can manage your computers there on there. I, as you can see here, I've already turned on home sharing. You can turn on or turn off home sharing from here. And sleep now, it goes into sleep mode. So go back. And these down options are obviously TV can watch, MLB can watch, podcast, your photo stream. You can view photos on Flickr, on YouTube again. I want to go through detail and everything. And so basic features are all explained. Now let's look at how you can airplay content. So here guys, I have my iDevice, that's my iPod Touch. I just unlock it. Okay, let me enter my pin. There we go. Let me just zoom out so that focus is not lost. And there we go. Here we have my iPod Touch. Now what I have to do is I just have, now it's running iOS 7, procedure on iOS 6 is a bit different. On iOS 7 just uh, open control center from the bottom and right away if you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Apple TV is, it'll automatically detect Apple TV and you'll get this AirPlay option right here as you can see here. This AirPlay option, just click it. Once you click it you'll get this menu. Just click on Apple TV and you can turn mirroring on or off and for instance if we turned it off, the standard display there. If you turn mirroring on, you get your entire iOS experience on the big screen on TV. As you can see, let me zoom in. There we go. You have got this entire iOS experience. You can now do anything that you want. You can airplay anything on your um, HDTV. For instance, now I'm gonna uh, just uh, play a demo song. You can even play games, and it's pretty fun. I mean, it's console like experience that you get. If you play games, if your Wi-Fi router is capable of doing that, for instance, if I just play this song right here, let me just slow down. Well, it's running right on my TV. Here's my iOS device, and it's running right on my TV. As you can see here, like this, you can not just run songs, but you can even run videos and photos. So for instance, if I want to view my photos, I just click Photos, and I get my entire photos library here. So for instance, if I want to view a photo, I can just view it in full screen on my TV. As you can see here it comes, I can just scroll through photos, it's pretty easy. And now, I'm just going to go back, so it just exits it, and it takes me back to my iOS. So it's pretty simple to do all that, as you can see here's my iOS, and um, so that's what you can do. Or you can even run apps, and uh, uh, the greatest benefit is that when you do landscape mode, even on TV it views full screen. For instance, if I run Stocks app here, and if you do landscape mode like this, it'll actually turn the TV into the full screen. So that's pretty good. And same procedure applies for games as well. And there you go, you get full screen. And here's my iOS device. And as you can see, when I turn it to portrait, it turns back on portrait there. If I turn it to landscape, it does it full screen. Same procedure applies for videos. Now let me just exit it. And so that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it if you hit that like button if you like this basic review for the Apple TV. If you want to go through every detail, let me know in the comment section and I'll give you a detailed uh, review of each and everything that's there on it and each and every application that's there. So thanks for watching this short review and please hit the like button. Please subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, to stay updated for future videos. Thank you very much.